Hey, Grandpa, I need your help. What do you need, sir? I'm practicing a presentation for tomorrow. Can you watch and tell me what you think? Mm, all right. What is it about? Uh, how insulin is made. The shot I get every day. Okay, hit me with it. Oh, cool. Let me get connected. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to talk about how insulin is made. One of these three creatures makes the insulin that people with diabetes use today. Can you guess which one? A, a Komodo dragon, a blockfish, or E. coli? Hold on, hold on. So, what you are saying is that the insulin shots I take is coming from a Komodo dragon. That bizarre blobfish or E. coli, the bacteria that is found in human shit. Yes, it's one of those three. And it's actually E. coli, the one that is found in human feces, grandpa. We call it feces that our kids out. So, insulin from bacteria? Holy sh! Grandpa! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Holy feces! So, my shots are coming from poop bacteria? How does that even work? Here's the deal. People with type 1 diabetes, like yourself, can't make insulin on their own, even though they have the gene or recipe for it. Okay. Well, a gene is a piece of DNA, here, like this, that has instructions to produce something like insulin or... Okay. So scientists will take that gene and put it into bacteria. Okay. Once inside, the bacteria act like little factories and start producing insulin. So the bacteria takes the gene in and poops out insulin, right? Pretty much. But don't worry, it's cleaned up before it gets to you. Fine by me, as long as it's cleaned up. This is called recombinant DNA technology. Science is pretty wild, huh? That's some crazy science. That's some crazy science. I got to let Bob know about this. Hey, Bob. You won't believe this. So, do you know where your insulin comes from? No, not CBS. No, no. Before that. No, no, no. Okay, I will be able to tell you explicitly because I have kids at home. But I'm gonna give you a hint, okay? What do you do when you're hungry? Right, right, everyone does that, okay? So, wh what happens then to the food that you just ate? Right, right, they're guessing, right, right, okay, so we're getting somewhere, okay? So then what happens to that food? Right, 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 exactly. And that's exactly when the so-called recombinant DNA technology comes into place. So they take that gene, that its own thing, they put it into, um, you know, I'll just leave it here and I'll explain that to you in, in more details when I meet you, okay? Okay, talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.